Yeah. Yeah. Lovely to see you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you what a long journey. You've been eleven hours driving. Yep. Yeah. Eleven yeah. hours. Yeah. And now you're being bombarded with <laughs> questions. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. We got a good coffee. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. All. Good. Yes. Yeah. Do you want to explain? Uh, we produce passive house windows and we delivered it to England. Have you worked on any other passive house buildings in the UK before? Yes, we did. We did it in London in December last year for Renault Road and we delivered a few other projects two years before. What is your experience of working with UK uh, construction teams in comparison with working with German or other European construction? That's a difficult question. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can't have a chap with a tra white transit van turning up and saying, I can install passive windows. If he's in a situation where he doesn't understand that he's got to close off round about it and the interface is correct, isn't correct, then when you do a weather test on the window, everything will seep round about the side of it. You can have the best window, the best fenestration, and work from that particular point. But if you don't have the two together with the infrastructure and the interface coming together, then passive standard goes out. Therefore, the installers must be trained to passive standard. And this is a really big learning curve. It's a big learning curve. We need to get this into NVQ training. We need to get it back into trade training again and get the apprentices to understand the installation. The critical thing about of passive windows and passive standards is the manufacturing techniques that we've got, we can now control that in the factory. It's when it becomes site orientated. We need to know the interface structure. This is a laminated frame, so this is going into the, the, into the which is a dense, the very dense insulation there. So it's a frame, you can see in the section, there's wood on the outside. Um, the middle part here and here is a very, it's a soft foam insulation, which I can mark with my fingernail. But there's a band in between there and, and, and there, which is called Puranite. It's a very dense insulation. And we need this very dense insulation. Well, we need all this insulation in order to make the window as warm as the glass. We need to make the frame as warm as the glass in a passive house. We bend around the way. Watch when he goes around the corners because there's a very, there's a technique, a very important technique um, to get around the corner with, a, with these membranes. So we're fitting the, the membrane, this will be for the, this is the inside, the side in front. Yeah. Fingers crossed if it works out and we get the, the positive aspect of the build, then we've got the next construction uh, next door. Um, hopefully it's going to kick off in Wales. Apparently it may that we may then be able to sell this product to England um, and hopefully Wales can actually make its own industry out of it. Um, and obviously we develop along with that, that industry.